Yo, what's up guys, Nate here. So, you know, season did just end. I actually did finish, uh, let's see, yeah, top 500. Honestly, it's not too impressive. I think I'm just gonna be running like minor 2.0 since this is the new season. And I was like, just why not? Just try to like mess around. But I think through my battle log, yeah, I did like kind of tilt. But I literally told myself like I would literally like wake up in an hour and push. But I guess that hour really turned into me sleeping for like, I guess, seven hours. So that was my bad, but... There's like this new like multiplier. I think I fit I think I got it because I finished top 1k, but let's just see how that works. You know, the season, I'm pretty sure like if you finish top one, you still get the same multiplier. It, like so I'm pretty sure like so I'm pretty sure Lucas finished top one. So congrats to him. Like he deserves it. I think his last top one was like ages ago. But I'm pretty sure like if you finish top one, like if, if someone finishes top one like Lucas did, and then someone like me who finishes top 500. I'm pretty sure we both could get the same multiplier, so I don't really get that. I thought there would be like kind of, I guess, like a times like ten or even like twenty multiplier for like those who finish like top one hundred. See, I'm kind of surprised by that, but again, like I guess like since I like I now know that there's like no like real reason for pushing for pushing anyways. But you know, I feel like we you know minor control like isn't. I mean, like when I was playing, like it didn't seem too bad, but you know, I haven't like playing a lot like I think the past week, so. I guess I didn't get got, like pretty tired of minor control, but you know I'm just playing like, like different decks like you know minor 2.0 like even like B rad deck. If you guys want to see that? You know I feel like this meta is probably not going to change. I'm pretty sure what there's like someone who had like a 7.3 personal best finish. <laughs> they actually finished uh, top 40. Yeah, pretty sure they finished like top 44. I don't know why Supercell would even allow that. I mean, I guess congrats to the guy, but, you know, just you, I think he used, like, Eagle and Healer with Phoenix Muck, and that's, uh, yeah, you know, he used Eagle and Phoenix with, like, Healer. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the only reason why he finished, like, top 44. I mean, like, if Supercell, like, wants it in the game, I think, you know, like, let it be, but, you know, I think, I hope, like, eventually they do, like, actually nerf Phoenix and Muck again. I don't think, like, Muck needs, like, a serious nerf, like, as much as Phoenix does, but Muck is still pretty annoying. I think I saw on Twitter there was, like, I think that, like there's like the top twenty. I think like fifteen out of the twenty decks were like had like Monk or Phoenix. I feel like that's pretty sad, you know. I feel like without Monk or Phoenix, the meta would be like pretty diverse. But like with the cards being in there, I feel like people kind of have to use it. I think there's, there's also like this pro. Like I think he goes by Wings. He's like an XUR pro. Like you think he finished like top fifty. And keep in mind, like Wings hasn't even like hadn't even like touched the game for like two years, and he just came back and just finished top fifty like that. You know, game match the game. I mean, I guess like I guess yeah, I guess like enough complaining. I feel like even if I complain, like Super Soul, like won't fix anything. How did those wall breakers connect, man? I mean, is there skeletons and dark up here on the hog. I mean, I feel like Ryan Tipman is like pretty fun to run. If you guys like want to like actually use it, I think you probably want to put in like a building. I think cannons like honestly pretty good. Otherwise, it's just use like I guess like a fast cycle deck. I put cannon. In. I think I have to use a can instead of like Dark Ob most likely, but I feel like Dark Ob is like a really I feel like Dark Ob is like kinda low-key broken. I feel like it's a really good card for just three elixir. It does so much damage. And it can also be like a I feel like it can be a win con sometimes. So you go for bats here for log. I mean I don't know yet. So I don't know if it's gotta break through. Dark up Ice Spear maybe for his hog. Okay, goes for e here, but I think Ice Spear should jump, bring for wall breakers to kite or for ice cone as well just to be safe. And yeah, this should be game. I mean, again, it's like only the first day of the season, so I don't really expect to face anybody too good, or I hope not anyways. Let's see, I had like a time 6 multiply, right? So do I, I assume like I just go up 6 steps most likely. Bro, that multiplier. Wait, what? I get... Oh, wait, so I, I guess like every win I get, I get like... F I, I guess I go up like I got 6 steps, and the next win I get 5 steps. But I can't believe like if <laughs> I finish top 500 and I get a time 6 multiplier... While someone finishes like top 10 and they still get the same multiplier. I think Supercell does need to change that, but for now I think it's okay. I mean, maybe our next match against a multiplier mul multiplayer. So for Wallbreaker split here, I mean it could be Princess. It's probably like log bait. Probably isn't it, like probably like another good matchup. So let's go mine here onto Princess. Go for Ice Bear just to be safe, maybe like trying to catch something. We do get his gob it's pretty nice, but I won't fully kill it. So probably here for like ice foam and then. Let's go for log into the barrel. Yeah, I think Ice Cone, like should tank up everything. Let's go for like wall once again. Once again, I feel like it's like, it's, like kind of like a fast paced cycle deck. I can't lie. So why? Are you... Okay, I don't know why you go for a, a log onto the side. Like I'm not pushing into, but it's whatever. So Miner's getting a lot of damage here. I mean, I really doubt this guy's like even gonna break through. So, can I just defend his princess? The question is, 
Is he gonna try to protect it? Okay, hopefully he doesn't. Go for Dark God to snipe it. Okay, thankfully Dark God does kill it. Did they get two shots. I think Dark God would have gotten like two shots onto his tower. So this is an applied pressure. So then I might go for barrel, yeah. So we go for Ice Spirit Skeleton right away. This might connect if he doesn't go for. He goes for Log Ice Spirit, but he does miss it. So I do get one wall, one, one wall breaker connection, also the Ice Golem death damage. And also, I think it's like the last video on the iPad. I think I actually like, got my phone back like two days ago. But you know, I've kind of I've kind of gotten used to the iPad, but I feel like for like the YouTube experience, like especially for you guys. Oh my god, stupid 10% battery, bro. Okay. Do you mind what I'm saying? I feel like for for you guys, you guys probably want to see like um, I guess like the iPhone like or like the phone like aspect ratio. I feel like for like the iPad, it's like a lot better quality. But I think in general, for like for you guys, like for your guys like viewers' experience or like when watching the video, I feel like phone's a lot better. So I guess rest in peace, iPad Pro for like recording. You know, I don't know. But like for some reason, like I really enjoy playing on the iPad. But again, like for you guys, I'll go back to uh, I will go back to phone. Let's go for bats here. Skeletons are okay. That was the place princess, but let's go for ice spirit and then go for dark gob on his gob gang. Let's go for princess the back here. I just played safe here to be honest. Let's go for log here onto his barrel. I swear that barrel looked deep. I guess not. Okay, ice golem bats. It looks like he's simping for it, the princess, but I think miner should lock on. Okay, ice spirit. I think dark gob once again for his uh, knight and also his gob gang. Should clean everything up. Dark Hop is so good, dude. Okay, logging his barrel once again. Miner on this princess. He might try to protect it. Okay, that one time where he, does, he doesn't try to protect his princess. Pretty interesting. I feel like he might try to go like Princess the Bridge here. How do those both connect? Okay, princess? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what I'm in. They always go Princess the Bridge, man, no matter what. Wall breakers try to predict. Okay, she goes full in the back. A little bit too late. Yeah, just go for Ice Golem just to, I guess, keep the wall breaker alive. Yeah, this should be game. I mean, again, second, oh, like literally the second game of the uh, or the second game of the video. So, yeah, nothing too surprising. Bro, I already hit Challenger two. Well, I guess that's good having that multiplier. But I do hope like they, yeah, again, like I do hope like if they should like, I, I hope that they increase the multiplier. I think we like a times twenty or like even a times thirty for like top fifty finishers. But then again, like some people who finish like in the top fifty like don't really deserve it to be honest. You know, it's abusing broken cards, but, you know, it's whatever. So, let's see, I think... Eagle, um, Snowball, okay, it could be Lumber Loon. Hopefully, it's not Lumber Loon. I have E-Dragon, could be Eagle, um, as well. Eagle, um, I think, is a pretty good matchup, as long as they don't have, like, a... Like, Arrow Zap. Yeah, Arrow Zap, that should be able to win. Yeah, if he doesn't have arrows, it should be, like, a pretty easy matchup. But depending on what he has, so he's Eagle, um, Okay, I know he has Eagle, um, Depends on, like which variant, unless it's like probably like, giant graveyard. I really hope it's not. Okay, well, wall breakers kite over the e barbs. Okay, is he just gonna eat this or just gonna defend? Bro, man, classic e golem player. Okay, that's a pretty bad kite on my end, but again, Dark Art should clean everything up. I do take his tower. Okay, the question is, am I gonna defend this? Probably not. I mean, I could probably like try to kite over the, yeah, kite over the healer with the miner. And they go for like bats and like just try to cycle back to um, my dark gob. So why did I bring over the healer here? Bats actually do stay off okay, they I guess the bats were alive. Long here, okay. Dark gob is gonna be a lot of value. Yeah, I can just go for ice foam kite. Please heal get out of the range. Okay, let's hit out of the range. I guess some pretty nice defense. Okay, that was a lot that was like a lot better I guess like the better defense than I would have thought in my head. Dark gob, so much value, man. Is he gonna eat that? Does he need that damage? Uh, let's go for like an ice bear first and go for like another <laughs> wall breaker kite. Maybe like try to predict, like predict his e bar e bars or something. Okay, never mind. So he's gonna attack and attack. Snowball, okay. I think those both should connect and dark hop on the tower. Well, I think I should still be good regardless. I mean, even if he, even if he takes my first tower, as long as he like doesn't through economy, it should be good, I hope. So ice bear here. Okay, I'm gonna go for Ice Golem to Kite. Miner on defense, should bring over the healer. Perfect. Skeletons for the eye drag. If we do miss, let's go for Wahlbergers in the middle just to force out arrows on his end. Okay, Ice Golem bring over the E drag. Dark up a second. Skeletons. Bro, what nice defense. I mean, this is like kind of magic to be honest. I don't know like, why I'm like, making it seem like it's not. Yeah, or like this guy's like a really, like I guess, like does not play Eagle Golem. But I think Miner Wahlbergers should take his tower. Eagle on defense. Okay, let's go for Ice Spirit. Ice Golem and Kite over the E-Barbs. 
I'm probably gonna play the same thing. Go for Bats here, fully kill the E Barbs. Do the same thing once again. Miner, Tamura's healer, and then uh, skeletons. Okay, there's really bad skeletons. It doesn't matter too much here. I mean, again, like, even if he does take my first tower, you won't have enough time to take my other tower. Just go for another kite here with the ice golem. Do the ice golem kite, man. It's so good. Go for wall burst as well, and later fetch another ice golem here. Yeah, that's probably my matchup. It's in the GG. Of course, you yawn, bro. You. <laughs> You literally just sacked and attack, like, yeah, you sacked and attack your entire tower to, like, not even take mine. And I also take your second tower. Yeah, so I guess, like, the multiplier goes down every time you win. I guess it's pretty interesting. But I guess I'll just keep on playing until, like, the multiplier runs out, most likely. So, hopefully, I need to cut. Okay, perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna next match here against that J-Dog from uh, Dublin Castle. Some good luck here. Robber is split. I, mean, I feel like with this deck, you guys, you guys like usually don't want to leak. I mean, you have like you literally have a 2.0 cost, so I think leaking is like a really bad choice. Although I think there's only like one person who have like, who have, like seen like who actually like runs like 2.0, like actually like one tricks it on top ladder. It's like not top ladder. I actually have like no idea like why he runs it, but for some reason like he used to and like he actually d like did make it work. So let's see. Darb does connect. Uh oh, Commander defense skeleton. Do for log last second. I spray just because like I just want to be like that. I just want to be that guy just to like not take any damage. It's a guy that probably has like bird spam I and mean, he played marcher as well. I mean if he has bird spam then probably just don't big spell. So I kind of I probably should have placed my dark up on the right side, but he also plays a mega minion. Okay, um wait, mega minion. So was this like giant? I have no idea. So, you know of course dude. Mid ladder menace bro. He's a mega knight how in the how am I supposed to kill Mega Knight, man? Okay, I guess I just have to, like, I guess go for, like, a Ice Golem Kite, like, maybe, like, possibly even a King Tower activation. I feel like a King Tower activation would probably, like, help, like, would probably, like, win me this game entirely, but it just depends if I can do it. Okay, Ice Golem Kite. Okay, no, that was bad. Um, <laughs> Dark Gob to bring over the Mega Knights. Bruh, please, Mega Knight, jump onto my Dark Gob. Is this your Fireball? Okay. Skeleton last second, please. Okay, Ice Golem to bring over the Mega Knights. Please activate King. Okay, Ice Spirit Bash should fully counter this. If only I had King Tower activated. But I think that should fully kill the egg, so I guess no worry. I mean, we actually had like a lot of damage on the other, or I guess on the right lane. Not actually like from what? So he's Lumberjack Snowball as well. Okay. So I guess like some version of Mega Knight Burst Bam with Fireball Snowball. I have no idea. Go Ice Bomb on the bridge here. Okay, um, it's pretty bad. I think I am actually heading to Double Elixir. Dark Goblin, go for a log last second. I should only give the Ram Rider one hit. But I mean, if I go to the right side, I'm thinking like a more of a counter push. Guys, yeah, so then you go Phoenix. Okay, this might be something like a bad play, but. Okay, you go Miner on defense. I'm gonna say like Wall Breakers, because you know, he's probably gonna like, ignore that, but you know, if, I think my I think my next pair of Wall Breakers you can't uh, ignore. You're going all in here, bruh. What is this? Mid ladder, help me. Okay, Miner log. I spear last second. Please, cycle be broken. Oh no, that's gonna pop an egg, isn't it? Okay, Ice Golem, Dark Gob, once again. Not defending this. Okay, Wahlberg is the Kyber the Phoenix. Okay, let's take a complete miss. Log, Ice Spirit last second. You can't eat those wall breakers. Or you just can, bro. Oh my god. But man, there's two, I, I guess like four wall breakers connecting. That's so much damage. So it takes like almost like half his tower. So he's forced to snowball my Dark Gob. So you do damage both lanes now, so dribbling. Okay, let's go my wall breakers once again. This might be game. Let's see for a snowball. Connect. Okay, that's so much damage. Skeletons last second. Wow, what is going on, man? Dark Gob, please carry me to victory. Log last second. Ice Golem Kite for the Marcher. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Please kill. Okay, nice. Remember, it does die. Stupid Marcher. Okay, wall breakers. Now it's answer like either lane or he lost. Yeah, Dark Gob locked on. Let's go for Miner. How did that Dark Gob get two hits, bruh? Oh man, Dark Gob, it's just... That card is like not fair, man. It's like low-key broken, I feel like. So, firing smash here against uh, Babakush from uh, Lauren's Craft. It's no good luck here. In my hand, I probably, yeah, probably flex to wall breakers once again. I mean, uh, I feel like it is early, it is early season, so there's like no like no real point like like running uh, modern control. I might just like mess around, I think. Since, like, I am, like, capped at, like, level 11 to 12, and, like, my Phoenix is level 13, I did see, like, some, like, a minor, I guess, a minor control deck, but it had Phoenix in it. I think it was, like, Sosa who finished, like, to, I think he finished, like, top 15, or, like, he finished, like, yeah, he finished, like, top 15 with it. 
Then you have like goblins, poison, bomb tower, so I think I might try to deck out and see like if it's like really that broken. But yeah, it was kind of sad though, you know, again, like I think what, I like the top 20, like 15 out of like 20 decks like had Phoenix or Monk in it. It was pretty sad, but it's whatever. Super Ice Golem here. Yeah, it has been super aggressive with the minor poison, so it's gonna apply pressure with the minor Wallbearers bats. I mean, what does he have for this? Is he a blog? Ice Spirits, but dude, Wallbreakers. They do so much damage. I mean, I I don't think Wallbreakers need a nerf, but at the same time, like sometimes like I've seen like Wallbreakers connect for no reason when it has like a Skarmy, like a, a, a Skarmy and a log on it. Like a Skarmy Skelly King, it's kind of insane if, if like something's taken for the Wallbreakers. But he has like a variant of Hunter Poison. I don't know why he's been so aggressive. Let's go dark up the bridge here. You he don't predict. Okay, he doesn't predict. Let's go for a log and go for all skeletons onto the miner. Maybe that was kind of like overkill on defense, but it is whatever. I mean, I'm up like a lot of damage, so it's the only like real way for this guy to break through. So I guess I can probably like tell like a story time. But, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm just saying it was like one word. Like I was late at school today or I was at school today, but I think my mom and dad like asked me to go shopping for them since they were like busy at work. So like I was like, uh, since I didn't have school today, I was like, why not? So, you know, I think if you guys like, don't know, like, I actually have a sister. You know, for those of you, for those of you who, like, watch my Twitch streams, you guys, you guys definitely know who my sister is. You know, I know there are, like, definitely a few of you in my comments who have siblings. Dude, it is, like, so annoying being compared to her. I mean, I feel like my sister was kind of, like, always, like, a star child. It was just so annoying. Like, I would be compared, like, over the, sm over the smallest things. I think the funniest one I can remember is... I think I was in like year one of like, uh, like yeah, I guess year one of elementary school. And my sister was in like grade five or like year five, I guess I really like, want to describe it. But basically, basically, I'm pretty sure like my dad, you know, like my dad would like usually just drop off me and my sister at school. And then of course, you know, th th there's the option to um, I think there's to eat breakfast. And I don't kid you guys, I'm pretty sure like my dad would, would make a bet with my mom. Like they would make a bet to see like who would eat breakfast faster. Like I don't kid you guys. My dad would literally, like, whenever like, whenever he would pick me up from school, like, me and my sister, he was always like, yeah, Nate, I always, like, watch you eating breakfast. And, you know, there were always, like, those kids who eat faster than you. And at that point, like, I'm looking back and I was like, dude, why are you comparing me when I was in first grade? Like, you know, every single year of, like, year one to year five, he would literally always tell me, yeah, Nate, I, I always, like, see people where, like, I always, like, see kids and their parents, like, eating, like, eating faster than you. Like, dude, you don't need to compare your child eating breakfast, but... Then again, like, my dad was always kind of, like, I guess, he was always, like, competitive as a kid. Like, like he used to tell me stories about it. And I guess, like, he wants me to, like, to, he wanted to rub, like, to rub it off on me, I guess. Man, imagine comparing a five-year-old child and telling them, yeah, I've seen, like, other kids eat faster than you at breakfast. You're just, like, you're, like, you're, like, just a slow kid. You know, to this day, like, I still look back on it. It's finally kind of funny. But, like, of course, like, now, like, my dad, he still compares me and my, me and my sister especially, but... It's like now and like not as frequently, so I guess that is okay, but let's just hop straight into the last match, man. Okay, different last match here against uh, Christian uh, W. Okay, that's either WWE or like World War uh, 2, I assume. So let's go for Miner than Ice Spirit here. I mean, I feel like I have like a lot of like life stories to talk about, but of course, like I don't want to tell all of them. And there's like, an like another one time where like a girl, like I guess like I approached a female and she called me gay. Man, like, how would you like that moment? Like, I think it happened, like, a year ago. I just, like, never want to talk to, like, any girl. And, I, like, especially after the, the, especially after the Elise situation. I mean, I literally went shopping today. And a girl, like, she, she said, like, hey. And I thought, like, she was going to, like, ask me for a number or something. But she was, like, do you have a sister, by the way? And I, and I was, I literally just, like, I didn't look at her. But in my mind, I was, like, bruh. Like, why is everything about my sister, like, about my parents? But, like, apparently, like, my sister, like, she, like, she likes to talk a lot on Wait, what? This guy gave up? Bro, why'd you give up? Okay, well, I guess I'll just continue the story. But, yeah, I mean, apparently my sister likes to talk to a lot of employees at, like, Publix. So, apparently, like, she, like, talks a lot of the female, um, I guess the female, I guess, yeah, the female employees. And for some reason, me, me like, I don't really see the, I don't really see the similarities between, like, me and my sister. I mean, like, I feel like even say, probably I've seen those videos where, like, like siblings or, uh, siblings or like boyfriend and girlfriend but you know i'm not gonna think that way that's kind of weird okay, why did i just say that man that's gonna be taken out of context but you know i feel like my interactions with females they're not uh <clears throat> they're not too good i feel like i kind of like have that like awkwardness for some weird reason i mean dude i've literally done it oh no i can i mean i guess i'm still a virgin 
you know, playing CR and probably will do a version of my entire life and also watch anime. But, you know, that's gonna be the end of the video. We do end Challenger 3. I don't know, like, why I'm, like, still, like, I'm ranting about my life that, like, I'm still ranting about my life. I doubt, like, even, like, half of you in the comments or, like, people who watch, who, people who are watching this even care. But, uh, probably the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I just don't forget to like and sub. And, yeah, I guess I'm in the comments below, like, what decks you guys want me to run while pushing Ultimate Champion. But, yeah, it's been Nate, and I guess I'll see you guys later.